innovation is an economic superpower. It's what sets us apart and drives progress. Just look at the history of the U.S. economy. It's grown consistently over time, and a big part of that is due to innovation. But it's important to remember that the goal of innovation isn't just to create better products that are more expensive. It's to create better products that are cheaper. Think about the phone in your pocket. It's probably more advanced and capable than a computer from just a few years ago, yet it's likely cost less. Innovation is a deflationary force, and it has the power to drive down costs and increase efficiency. Did you know that the food industry is a gateway drug for healthcare spending? It's true. What we eat has a huge impact on our health and well-being. In fact, one study found that reducing refined sugar intake could have reduced death rates by 40% in diabetic patients alone. But our current food system is often filled with unhealthy options that contribute to rising healthcare costs. But there's hope. By digitizing the food industry, we can improve nutrition and drive productivity. With 7.8 billion people in the world and a population set to increase by 2 billion by 2050, the potential for innovation in the food industry is huge. Imagine a world where we can produce more nutritious food using fewer resources, all while keeping costs low. When it comes to healthcare, we tend to think about new treatments and technologies to improve our health. But what about new business models? Who is the only player in the insurance industry that wants you to live longer? It's your life insurance company. They stand to make more money the longer you live. So perhaps it's time to consider alternative business models for healthcare, ones that incentivize people to live longer and healthier lives. For example, what if healthcare providers were paid based on the overall health of their patients rather than the number of procedures performed? It could lead to a more proactive and preventative approach to healthcare rather than the reactive one we have now. The founders of the United States believed in the limitless potential of the human mind and the role of innovation in achieving this potential. They saw innovation as a way to create something better than what came before. And they were right. Over time, the U.S. has consistently grown its GDP, thanks in large part to the power of innovation. But we can't rest on our laurels. The future is full of challenges and opportunities, and it's up to us to harness the power of innovation to meet them head on. Take the current pandemic, for example. It's a challenge unlike any we faced before, but through innovation, we've been able to develop vaccines and treatments in record time. That's the power of the human mind and the potential for innovation. The sky's the limit.